Hey guys, welcome to SC Custom Designs. Thanks for coming into the wood shop this evening. Um, so we got some orders um, as a result of our um, commercial that we did. So hand delivering uh, bandsaw boxes. If you're local, we'll certainly do that. Um, the bandsaw boxes are made of 4x4s. So we had to go out and get a few of those so that we could uh, begin to make uh, more bandsaw boxes. This, these are just some of the designs um, that we have made. See they come in various shapes and sizes and attitudes. So, so, so I just cut another one out uh, moments ago. But what I wanted to talk about was the idea that um, if you're not aware of these types of sanders, okay, you need to be aware of them. So <clears throat> these are called micro zip. I'm not a salesman for these. I just use the product. Um, so essentially, um, you have the ability of Velcroing just like that. Uh, the sandpaper. So I have 80 grit, uh, 120 grit, and 220 grit. And um, as you can see, um, I was just using one of them, and I and I bought various uh, grits. So I just decided today, while I was out getting the four x fours, I would have a station set up with these three grits on them. Okay, so these are really really cool for getting in the nooks and crannies um, of your box. Okay, so we'll get into this in, in just a second. Then you have this type of guy, same company that has this shape. Again, this is very soft to hold and uh, you can bend it like so and get into those nooks and crannies. Um, then you have a flat one. Again, with the 80, uh, 120, 220 uh, grits. Then you have this here. Um, I tend to put on the 400 grit, uh, 220, 400 grit on this. And uh, we have this sandpaper here, which is like a poly on a poly and that's really great for grabbing with two hands and going around the corners um, that is when you've got the the box uh, all shaped and ready to go this is in its rough so we just I mean just cut this guy out um, there's the middle of the the 4x4 there that was left over we just cut it out on the bandsaw so what you have is you have a back this all right and so that then you have the drawer like this okay so the tip I have for you is you definitely want to sand the insides of the box before you glue it up okay so I'm gonna sand I started sanding this here um, I'm gonna want to sand the inside here imagine if you would once you get this glued up okay how, it's going to be kind of hard to sand in there. So, you know, you've got uh, this guy over here that you could use to sand on the inside. Um, and then, you, when you want to shape, you can come over to this sander and you can do amazing things. And what we're going to be doing with this particular unit is we'll be sanding away here, shaping away this. So this is going to go in. Uh, this is going to go in, so we'll eat, eat away at that. And it gives a really nice effect where the drawer is going to look like it's sticking out. Okay, so that's just a lot of fun. So we'll be uh, sanding and gluing up this tonight. Um, and we'll be sanding the insides of this and gluing this up tonight. So what I do is I just basically trace uh, this here, which is the main drawer. So I can sand just here. You don't want to sand here. If you sand here, then the pieces aren't going to go back the way they uh, came out of the wood. At the moment, it's perfect. The bandsaw cuts the wood from the wood, and it's a perfect match. Okay, And that's what you want. You want to be able to, to put it back the way it came out. That way the grain is going to line up with the grain, okay? 
Now, if you if you sand this here uh, flat, which is tempting to do, you sand this flat, eh, these guys aren't going to go back exactly the way they were. And then you're going to compromise the grain. The grain's going to tend to not uh, match and, and line up. This is what you want. You want to fool the eye. And trust me, every, I haven't shown... Uh, folks the bandsaw box one time where they didn't ask me how in the world did you make that it's easy to understand how it's made when it's all in pieces right so but when you put it together that's the the beauty of it so thanks um so this episode was all about uh, showing you that i have a lot of different sanders that i use okay naturally i'm going to use these guys first to do the shaping and then we'll go from the 80 to the 120 to the 220 in, with the various styles. Okay, I hope you found this uh, helpful. Please, if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate that. And remember to click the bell. Uh, once you click the bell, then you'll be reminded of our videos. Uh, when we come out with them, you'll get a reminder. So that'll be cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming into the shop. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get busy here and crank out the customer requests. Thank you, customers.